Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brad Koch. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cabrini Carroll Field for the first Cabrini Cavaliers home opener. Today's actions feature the Univer Eastern University Eagles and your Cabrini University Cavaliers. Please direct your attention to the pitcher's mound for a very special presentation. Thank you, Chelsea. Again, my name is Brad Koch, Director of Athletics and Recreation at Cabrini University. I would like to first thank the student athletes and coaches from Eastern University for their patience as we get through this brief program and blessing of the field today. Today marks a significant day uh, for the partnership between Archbishop John Carroll High School and Cabrini University. It's an, another very high note. After almost four years of planning and vigilant preparation between many individuals of these remarkable schools, I would like to officially welcome you to the first home game of Cabrini University Baseball. <laughs> Along with our coaches, student athletes, and staff, I would like to thank uh, Frank Fox, president of Archbishop Carroll, and Dr. Don Taylor, president of Cabrini University, and our trustees for their tireless leadership in seeing this project through. We would also like to publicly acknowledge the following individuals for their support of Cabrini University Baseball. And if we can hold our applause till the end as I get through this list. Thank you. Dr. Christine Lashanik, Vice President of Student Life at Cabrini University. Eric Olson, Vice President, Finance and Treasurer at Cabrini University. Dawn Barnett, Director of Facilities and our Facility Staff at Cabrini University. Sam Casilla, Vice President of Environmental Consulting. Patrick Spellman and Rob Lambert of Site Engineering Concepts. Ed Sheeran of Sheeran Environmental Design and his team for all the excavation and engineering work. And Dan Driscoll of AstroTurf and his team for providing such a quality and beautiful product. A field that will have an exponential impact on recruiting for both of these institutions and is now a centerpiece, a showcase for the student athletes out here today and future generations to come. So with that in hand, if you can please give a round of applause for those individuals who helped make this day a reality. At this time, I would like to welcome Frank Fox to the microphone to say a few words as well. Brad, thank you so much. I'm going to keep this very brief. Uh, this started nearly four years ago, and uh, the president of Cabrini then was Deb Takis, and we started out very modestly. We were going to push a little uh, dirt around, move a little grass, but there's one individual here with us today, um, and why we're in a turf field. So the AD for Cabrini, Brad Koch, said, I think it's going to be very problematic to have this as grass. So we're going to have teams coming from a long distance, not necessarily Eastern, uh, but others, and weather may have a factor. So if you could please give it up for Brad Koch for making this video and his vision a reality today. Brad saved me the time of thanking so many people. What a collaboration this is. Um, so I want to focus just once, uh, just a few minutes, on the collaboration and the partnership between Cabrini University and Archbishop Carroll. This baseball field is just a small fraction of the deep dive that we're doing as two academic institutions. Um, they have a visionary leader in Dr. Taylor that is taking Cabrini to another level. And just the fact that you men that you're now a university, you know, speaks volumes. And I would tell, I'm probably looking at about 30, 30 young men here, and I, I would say to the guy, without the vision of Brad and Dr. Taylor and the Board of Trustees, you wouldn't be at Cabrini today because you couldn't play baseball, and you love playing baseball, but you're here because of the plan that came before you. So, um, guys, good luck to you. I just want to say, um, for the first one that gets a hit here, it's a real big deal. So uh, you'll be in the Carroll Hall of Fame most likely, and uh, we'll get you involved in all that. So 
Um, but again, thank you to everyone that came today to support Cabrini uh, University, Archbishop Carroll, the vision of this field. Great luck, man. Good luck today. Thank you. Please welcome Dr. Don Taylor, Cabrini University President. Thanks, thanks, Brad. I'll try to keep my remarks short also. Brad's thank lots of people. And I want to especially shout out to Coach Nick, who's the perfect coach to launch our baseball team. He really has the vision to take us where we want to get, both on and off the field. He's assembled a great staff and an outstanding group of young uh, men uh, that we've been really impressed with. And so today is really a historic day. And everyone that both Brad and Frank Fox is thank I echo as well. We have a great partnership with Carol. Uh, Frank's a wonderful partner. The only two other two couple of people I want to make sure we give a shout out to, and I see them straight behind me. So I don't think that we would be playing today without Mary Bolson, the financial treasurer, and trustee Bob Jarrett. Eric, Bob, please. They did an incredible amount of heavy lifting for this project and had the vision for us to be able to play. And I want to thank everybody involved. We're really looking forward. It's also an opportunity for Carol and Cabrini to further brand ourselves. You see the Paoli Thorndyne septal line that goes by. There are 100,000 riders on that train every day. And so in a few weeks, what they'll be seeing is the signage of Archbishop Carroll and Cabrini University as the first thing they see pulling in and also uh, when, when they leave the field. So again, thanks everyone for coming out. And uh, coming from Chicago, it's a beautiful day. Ernie Banks would say, let's play too. Please welcome our Director of Campus Ministry at Cabrini University, Father Carl Janicki, who will provide the blessing for the field today. sacrifices which have brought us to this moment. We ask your blessings on all gather for this historic field. We ask your guidance and protection in the lives of all who will compete here, umpire here, coach here. May they always remember the importance and the value of teamwork. For those who care for this facility, for those who care for the injured, and all those who work behind the scenes, may they always be retreated with respect and dignity. And those who gather as fans, always respect, show dignity and gratitude for the effort that's made. May they be joyful in victory and dignified in defeat. May baseball remind us all of the important life lessons that we have to take, develop, and practice God-given gifts and talents which lead to excellence. Now I invite you to offer silently a moment of prayer for any friends and family who are sick and suffering and remembrance for those who have died. For all the time we spend here, in the end of that time, for our efforts, may we all be better men and women. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
this time we call Brad, Co Brad Koch and Frank Fox back to the middle for our ceremonial first pitch. Receiving the pitch are Cavaliers, freshman catchers, Alex Douglas, and Kevin Flynn.